This is an overview of the latest version of our free KTF Point Cloud tool. So I'll demonstrate the new KTF Point Cloud ribbon. On the first panel, we've got Define Crop Solid. These are primarily BricsCAD tools. The first button is Point Cloud Align. If you select an area of your building, it will rotate the point cloud to your UCS, which is something that we think is really useful. There's the box command, which is used for drawing a 3D solid. This being a 3D solid, you benefit from BricsCAD direct modeling tools. You've got push-pull, which makes it easy to manipulate. Then we have the actual point cloud crop solid tool where you can select any solid and choose whether you want to select inside or outside. We want the inside and it generates a very nice crop of your point cloud. The great thing about this, of course, is that you can still use your direct modeling to adjust your crop very easily. You can click on the crop solid and you've got point cloud crop settings. For instance, you can change the extrusion height if you just want one meter, for instance, or you can change the elevation. KTF Point Cloud builds on the BricsCAD native features. We've added a nudge up button and a nudge down button. You can extrude more or less and it's slightly different from the BricsCAD tools in that it'll keep the top face that you'll be drafting over at the same elevation. You can also extrude up or you can extrude down. We have a settings button so you can change the increments to suit or you can actually hard code the elevation for your top face if you want a specific thickness. You can hide the solid. Obviously, when you're tracing, it's much nicer to have that out of the way so you can hide the solid. You can still use all the features, you just don't see the actual solid. Of course, if you need to use push-pull or other functionality, you can show the solid again. You can turn the crop off and back on again. You can save crop states. And give it a unique name. And you can restore any changes. We've also got some presets. On the point cloud display, we can hide the cloud, we can show the cloud. And if you're tracing, we have some new buttons. There's max porous, which makes the points as small and minimal density as possible. You can return it back to default porous if you need. Then there is various fine tuning. For instance, you can reduce or increase point sizes or density and you can turn off adaptive display. Then we have a point cloud eSnaps tab. So rather than going into your eSnap settings and your 3D eSnap settings, you can quickly access the important ones here. For instance, there's turn on snap to point cloud point so if we do a polyline now, 
you can snap to a point. And because this is a 2D polyline, it will be on the elevation of the first point that you click. Or you can also use the elevation snap to point to snap at whichever elevation that you've got set. And this can be adjusted as necessary. Bonus tools that add spot height. If you click on a point, you can add a spot at the height of that point. You can also use command line settings. So typing S in the command line, for instance, allows you to add a prefix to the spot height if you wish. And there's an add door function, which is quite useful. You can pick the hinge side to change which way it swings. And there are rotation tools if you want to 3D rotate the point cloud. And PNG out. So, there's the latest version of our free KTF point cloud tool. We hope you enjoy it.